This is Planet Pulse for Friday, April 29th. The moon shifts from Pisces to Aries early this afternoon. I'm Jeff Jower. And I'm Rick Levine. The shift of the moon from Pisces to Aries seems like it's part of a regular theme that we've been seeing all month. I mean, going back to the a month ago when the moon shifted from Pisces to Aries, we've had a drift of slow-moving planets of Jupiter in January and Uranus in March, and then Mars and Mercury and Venus all in Aries. And today, the moon moving from Pisces to Aries is just another statement of we're leaving something behind and we're going into something new. Yeah, absolutely. Something new, not only because Aries is a new sign, but it's the first sign of the zodiac. It represents the beginning of the whole astrological cycle. So we have the end, that is the moon in Pisces in the first half of the day, surrendering, letting go and releasing. And then with the moon moving into Aries, we're nourishing uh, the planting of seeds, the initiation of things. But as Rick has pointed out recently, in spite of all of this Aries action, we still have the sun in Taurus, so that the counterweight of the sun in this earthy sign will either slow down and anchor some of these advances or will nourish them in a sort of patient and supportive way. I think that that's a good way to look at it. And, and there's two other things that, that add to both sides of the equation. One, the impulsive airy side, and the other is the ending of the cycle Pisces side that, that you talked about. And the thing that adds to the impulsive rocket fall side is the fact that once the moon moves into Aries, it actually joins up with Uranus. Tomorrow, it'll, tomorrow it will join up with Venus and Mercury and Mars and then Jupiter, but today it hits Uranus. And when the moon hits Uranus, our feelings are rattled. They're, they're like expressive. They're like lightning. We can, we can lose it in a moment to say what we've been meaning to say or to feel something that we've been suppressing or repressing. And so the moon's line up with Uranus is very important. On the other hand, we're a couple of days away from the new moon. So so we're in a very old moon, which is Piscean kind of, even though all these planets are in Aries, it's like we're, we're kind of toward the end of the lunar cycle. And so it's an interesting juxtaposition, once again, of the old and the new. Yeah, what it may mean is that really our new ideas are basically meant to get rid of the old ones. Mm. And that some of the bright and exciting stuff we get in this transition period over the next couple of days, as Rick pointed out, may not anchor until the new moon in Taurus. I'm Jeff Jower. And I'm Rick Levine inviting you to join Jeff and me here every day on Planet Pulse.